Hello everyone. Today I will talk about voice over 5G. First, we need to know what is 5G and learn the very basic of 5G voice. As we know, 5G arrived and the first networks and 5G smartphones launched in this first half of 2019. One aspect which could be seen as a hygiene factor for all 5G smartphone wires is that a phone is still a phone. Users should be able to make a regular service provider voice calls whether camping on 5G, 4G, 3G, 2G, or even Wi-Fi. So today, mobile voice service network infrastructure in 4G using Voltio will continue to be used in 5G. But what are the user benefits and service provider benefits? This is the question. The benefits of voice over 5G for user and network, as you see, will be first 5G, we can make a high data for 5G network with voice and also provide like LT or Volti HD voice and new use cases related to voice uh, service over 5G and also you can make a voice beyond 4G cable. So you can make a voice call without it uh, depending on 4G cable. And for network, this will reduce the total cost of ownership, especially for 5G network. And you can, as an operator, shut down 2G and 3G, the main provider of voice service, and reforming their spectrum to 4G and 5G to can make more efficient uh, for spectrum itself. Okay? So these are the main benefits of voice over 5G. And we can now see what are the scenarios of voice over 5G based on time play. The first use case of 5G or scenario of 5G, this will be at uh, Per Ericsson at Q1 2019 is 5G dual connectivity smartphone. Here we can see how we can make a voice call as the early stage of 5G. The voice will be over 4G. The voice will be over 4G. and 5G will be used as a data. And the benefits of this scenario, it's enabled early market launch of smartphone with high 5G data speed, and the most initial 5G deployment will use medium to high frequency band. This will reducing voice coverage, improvement possible by using lower 4G frequency band of voice. And the drawback will be poorer voice uplink coverage and shorter battery time on 5G smartphone and more complex and costly smartphone as these days. And expected for Q4 2019. The 5G smartphone will it change the access to 4G during voice call. And we can see if we have, for example, this is the coverage of 2G and 4G, uh, 2G and 3G. And we have another coverage for 4G. This is the coverage of 4G. And we have a coverage of 
5G. Here, this is coverage of 5G. So here we will have 5G data. Here 5G and here 4G and here we will have 2G and 3G. So here will be handover from 4G to 2G and 3G to 2G and 3G and from 5G to 4G will be something something called EPC callback for voice. So 5G for data traffic, but falling back to voice and the data over 4G during voice call. And this is called EBS callback. The benefits of this will be early market launch of smartphone also with 5G speed will improve voice uplink coverage versus dual connectivity phones and enable 5G unique business opportunity and the reduced cost of network operation. But will be also some drawbacks like no 5G data speech while making uh, voice calls and smart uh, or somehow longer call setup time during due to fall back from 5G to 4G. And the third one will be 5G smartphone, as we will see. And at H1 of 2020, as per Ericsson, will be 5G smartphone using voice over 5G. Here we can see there are some difference as we will have 2G and 3G, and we will have coverage of 4G, for example, here, and we have standalone coverage for 5G, standalone coverage for 5G, here, for example, and here. So we can write each generation in its coverage area. This is 4G and this is 2G and 3G. Also will be handover from 2G, but here the case will be not full back, but handover. So this will be handover from 4G to 5G or from 5G to 4G. So here we will use 5G new radio standalone for voice and data, and there will be seamless mobility, seamless mobility in between 4G and the 5G, and from 4G to 3G and the 3G. And there's a benefit here will always high 5G data, also while making a voice phone call or voice call, and will improve voice quality between 5G smartphone with HD voice, also will improve the 5G video call experience and enable 5G unique service that impact and will interact uh, with voice and video calling. And this will use lower 5G frequency for uh, excellent indoor, for example. But there are some drawbacks. If spotty or limited 5G coverage, there could be many voice handover and deterioration at call retainability. That's all uh, points about voice over 5G scenarios. And thank you for listening. And I hope to meet you at the upcoming video streams of 5G. Thank you, Muhammad.